Welcome to our Mothering Day service. I'm John, the vicar of Alstonfield Island and Wetton, and today we are remembering mothers on Mothering Sunday. So we'll pray for all mothers, our own mothers in particular, uh, for women who find motherhood difficult for whatever reason, or those who feel the loss of not being able to be a mother. So let's be still for a moment as we begin our worship today. O oh God, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O oh Lord, according to your, loving, your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Jesus, like a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins, our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us, and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying you're born to a new life. By your anguish and labour we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through the sweet, your sweetness, sweet goodness. To your gentleness we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy heal us. In your love and tenderness remake us. In your compassion bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. Let's call to mind our sin, our failure to value and love the love of others, and our failure to love as Christ has loved us. Your love gives us life from the moment of conception, and we fail to live as your children. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You call us to do good, yet we seek our own good. 
Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You hear us when we cry for help. We ignore the cry of others. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins, restore in you his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Psalm 95, the Venite. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Be glad with him with psalms. The Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands are molded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our prayers, our prayers and readings are for Mothering Sunday. Let us pray. God of love, compassionate and strong, tender and careful, watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. First reading is taken from 1 Samuel 1, 20 to 28. Hannah conceived and bore a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I have asked him of the Lord. The man Elkanah and all his household went up to offer to the Lord the yearly sacrifice and to pay his vow. But Hannah did not go up, for she said to her husband, As soon as the child is weaned, I will bring him that he may appear in the presence of the Lord and remain there forever. I will offer him as a Nazarite for all time. Her husband Elkanah said to her, do what seems best to you. Wait until you have weaned him. Only may the Lord establish his word. So the woman remained and nursed her son until she weaned him. When she had weaned him, she took him up with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine. She brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh, and the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull, and they brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who was standing here in your presence praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me the petition that I made to him. Therefore, I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he is given to the Lord. She left, left him there for the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Second reading is Psalm 34, verses 11 to 20. Come, my children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is there who delights in life and longs for days to enjoy good things? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and will save those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous. From them all will the Lord deliver them. He keeps all their bones so that not one of them is broken. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. 
spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, is, is now, now and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The second reading this morning comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 to 7. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction, with the consolation with, with which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant for us, so also our consolation is abundant through Christ. If we are being afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. If we are being consoled, it is for your consolation, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we are also suffering. A hope for you is unshaken. For we know that as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our consolation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our Gospel reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 19, verse 25. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary. Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing there beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, here is your mother. From that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Well, here we are on Mothering Sunday. And um, our first reading of Hannah. Hannah, we meet Hannah. Um, who did not believe she was going to conceive a child, become a mother. And yet here we have the story of um, 
Samuel being born her son. And um, she responds with great love. And, and here she has this child that she has longed for and so grateful to have and receive. She's so glad of God's love and God's gift and God's response to, to her heart's desire. And in response to that, Hannah gives God the gift of her son, Samuel. She responds to God's love by offering her gift, her son, to God. And Samuel goes to live in the temple and becomes a wise man, a wise prophet. And in a sense, this is something of what Hannah's prayer may be about. That in response to her, her emptiness, her, her desire, and then having that desire fulfilled, she is caught up in God's love. And she, in a sense, is saying this, you've given all to me, everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace, and that is enough for me. That's a great gift that she has received, and it's a great gift that she returns. And she is still caught up and bound up in God's love. And that, that self-sacrifice is so much at the heart of much of motherly love, motherly love that, that is always of good. But there are those who find themselves lost and far, far from, far from love, far from mothers that love them. And in our second reading, we have Paul, Paul speaking of the love of God that seeks out the lost. And so when any of us feel afflicted or desperate or struggling with life, maybe a bit like life at the moment, I think we've all been caught up at one moment or another in the midst of this pandemic with something that really find, we find hard to surmount and overcome. But maybe if we notice when we have overcome, it's often with the support and love of others around us. God's love consoles us, embraces us like a good mother. And that is what Pete, uh, that's what Paul is telling us in that reading this morning. And the hardest thing that any mother has to face is often the death of her own child, whatever age they are. When you feel in the face of their anguish and pain and hurt that you can't do anything for your own child. And here in the gospel reading, we find Mary. Mary at the foot of the cross of Jesus, her son. And Jesus notices and offers her something not to replace him, but offers her a new relationship. She invites John to care for Mary. He is full of grief too. And Mary to be John's mother. For Mary and John to care and love for each other like a mother and a son. Jesus is inviting us he invites us all into a similar relationship with the God of love. God who embraces us 
God who loves us from the very beginning of our life and to the very end. God of love, who does not give up on us ever, even when we feel forgotten, abandoned, alone, in pain and in grief. God's love lies at the heart of this invitation, entering for us to enter into a new life, a new life in God's kingdom, here and now and in the world to come. And that is a love that knows no bounds. It reflects something of human love, but is much greater and much more expansive. It reflects the love of mothers. For let, let us give thanks, not only for God's love, but for the love of mothers everywhere. to words of faith. Let us declare our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And so we come to our prayers of intercession for Mothering Sunday, and we hold in our prayers all mothers, our mothers living and departed, women who feel the loss of not being a mother. And at this time, we also pray for all experiencing the pain and hatred generated by racism. For all women, especially those experiencing fear of abuse by men. Lord, help us to be a solution to the, these situations and, and not a problem. And locally in our community, our prayers are for Anne and Mary and Nick 
Marjorie, Ernie, Doris, Annie, Peter and Diana, Anne, Claire, Matt and family, Nancy, Andrew, Richard and Mary, Bridget, Dorothy, Tara, Rob, Nicholas and Hugo, Margaret and Jeff, Alex, Sarah and Scarlett, Vic, and remember those who died recently, remembering Isaac Hall, whose mortal remains, his ashes will be buried in Ireland Churchyard this coming week. As children of a loving God, who always listens to our cries, let us pray to our Father in heaven. God of love. Hear our prayer. Loving God, you've given us the right to be called children of God. Help us to show your love in our homes, that they may be places of love, security and truth. God of love. Hear our prayer. Loving God, Jesus, your son, was born into the family of Mary and Joseph. Bless all parents and all who care for children. Strengthen those families living under stress. And may your love be known where no human love is found. God of love. Hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for the family of the church. We pray that all who may find in her their true home, that the lonely, the marginalized, the rejected may be welcomed and loved in the name of Jesus. God of love. Hear our prayer. Loving God, as we see the brokenness of our world, we pray for healing among the nations, for food where there is hunger, freedom where there is oppression, or joy where there is pain, that your love may bring peace to all your children. God of love. Hear our prayer. As God's children and heirs of Christ, we cry in the spirit, Abba, Father, as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
and act as spiritual communion. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you've given us, for all the pains and insults you've borne for us. Since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, we ask you to come spiritually into our hearts, our most merciful redeemer, friend and brother. May we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Amen. And prayer for mothers. Praise God who loves us. Praise God who cares. For, mother, for the care of mothers. Thanks be to God. For their patience when tested. Thanks be to God. For their love when tired. Thanks be to God. For their love, for their hope when despairing. Thanks be to God. For their service without limit. Thanks be to God. Thank you, God, for the love of our mothers. Thank you, God, for the, their care and concern. Thank you, God, for the joys they've shared with us. Thank you, God, for the pains they've borne for us. Thank you, God, for all they give us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And a blessing upon us all, upon those for whom we've been praying, especially our mothers, and all those who are mothers. May God, who gave birth to all creation, bless us. May God, who became incarnate by an earthly mother, bless us. May God, who broods as a mother over her children, bless us. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you everyone for joining us today for um, our Mothering Sunday service. I hope, um, especially you mothers, God bless you. Thank you for all that you do as a mum. And thank God for our own mothers. Um, all they've done for us or do for us. Um, 